Hey, this is Chip Desart. There was a great post on Church Mag uh, by Alex Wellgraven of Radiant Church in Arizona. And he posted some Instagram videos uh, to his phone. So I want to show you exactly my workflow for doing it. I wanted to give a video a quick tutorial. So I'm using Adobe Premiere. You can use Final Cut Pro 7. You can't use Final Cut Pro 10 to do this, um, but you can use Premiere. So you have Premiere uh, through the Creative Cloud. You can uh, uh, do this. So first thing I want to do, make sure that you create your new sequence. And when you do a new sequence, um, I created a new secret sequence and you go here under custom. And what I did, I made it 1000 by 1000. Then I'm at I frame only MPEG, left that 30 frames per second. And I just said save preset. And when you see you save the preset, I just called it IG video and it will come under the Instagram video. All right, so that's the first thing. And then, so you'll have video that looks like this, especially professional video. This is just sample video from a wedding and a reception. So you'll have video that looks like that. So when you create a new sequence, let's just say, you know, you, you have this sequence. Uh, let's just hit new sequence command in and uh, let's just create a new Instagram sequence. So when you bring video down and remember you only get 15 seconds in Instagram. So I'm going to do an I and I'm, I'm going to do an O and I'll bring it down. You're going to be faced with this and I'm going to say keep existing settings. All right. So once I keep existing settings, I'm going to make the timeline a little bit bigger. Now, if I want to see the entire video, like what I did on this one, so I want to see the entire video. Yeah, you can keep it like that. Or I'm going to go right here, effects, control, motion. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it about 50 some percent so I can see it. 52 percent works really well. So you can see the entire video. Or if you want to put text at the top and the bottom as a promo or whatever you want to do. For my Instagram video, see, I put my wedding uh, logo right here. Uh, the wedding stuff I do, people on Instagram. So after I do that, then I'm going to go to file. Then I'm going to go after I edited my video, 15 seconds. I try to do it around 14, 20, if you see right here, 14 seconds and 20 frames, just because I want to give some gaps so everybody can see everything in my video. So I'm going to go file, export, media, and then I'm going to make sure I set up a custom. All right. A custom. You can do either MOV or MP4. I like MP4 because it's cleaner and it's um it is uh, for me it's smaller than mov then i'm going to go here and make sure it says 640 by 640 then my quality settings i want to make sure i do my quality settings i i'm going to put it up to about three about two or three right there all righty and once i do that i'm going to hit export now i can save this preset again and just name it whatever. So I'm just going to name this uh, IG test two. Alrighty. And that's my bit rate right here. You can leave it on variable bit rate two pass if you want. It's fine. And I'm going to hit export. So it's going to take a couple seconds to export. And once it exports, I'm going to then upload it to Dropbox. And then once I upload it to Dropbox, I'm going to show you on my phone how I get it from my Dropbox to the camera roll, then to upload to Instagram. I'll be right back. I upload the file to Dropbox. So I'm going to open up the Dropbox app. And then once I open up the Dropbox app, I'm going to open up the file where I loaded it. And it's called IG Test 2. All right. So you see it here. But right now, if you see, you cannot download it. Save it to camera roll. So I have to favorite it first. So I hit the star. I hit favorite. Then I'm going to go down here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my favorite. And then as you see, it's downloading it right as a favorite. And all I'm going to do is save that to my camera roll. So we'll come back once this is 100% and we'll go straight to Instagram. Okay, we're back. Now it's at 100%. I'm going to click on that file. Then I'm just going to hit save to photo library. So it's going to save this to my photo library. And once it saves it, I'm just going to go ahead and go out of there and go to my Instagram, as uh, my my uh, friend Amani calls me, I'll decline, decline that call real quick. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to Instagram. And then what I'm going to do is just click on it. And then I'm going to find the video. And there's a the video. All right. 
I'll play it. And then I can choose a thumbnail, hit next. Add filters if I want. Next, and then you know the rest. Add your caption and you upload. So that is my process for uploading videos uh, to professional videos that you edit to Instagram. Take care.